All right, let's see. You ready, this? Right here. And sit. Good. <laughs> He's like, what the hell, dude? Uh-uh, sit. Right? He broke up the sit. Even though I fed him, he's got to keep sitting, right? So you just uh, uh sit. You have to use least pressure. Let's go. Ain't no big deal. Right? You see that he's not used to stopping and looking, though, right? <laughs> sit. Good. Hey. Let's go. Right, I want. He needs to sit even after I feed him. He he knows better with that. Now this is a different context of what we're used to. Sit, good, good. Let's go. Right. See, it took him a couple times to realize that even though he gets rewarded, he still has to stay sitting. We've worked on that. We just haven't worked on that on the uh, at the sidewalk, right? So it's a little different, right? Sit. Good. So now I want to do it just walking up and using pressure, right? So we've got a few repetitions of asking for a sit. So now I'm not going to ask for it. Good dog. You are a good dog. Okay, let's go. So he might not even need pressure. I thought he would because he's so used to trying to cross the street to get over here. Because we cross the street, but it's down that way. Ow! Right into the pole. Good boy. See, now it's kind of automatic. Ah, oh, and I should have released him right there. Messed up. I was doing it all last time, too. It's because I'm not used to doing it. Now, eventually, you don't have to release them to it. But I would say at the beginning, good boy. At the beginning, I would, right? So, okay. At the beginning, I would release every single time until the dog's not, until the dog gets used to waiting for it. And then that can go away, right? It's just a bridge, just bridge behaviors, right? So now... He stops, that's fine. I don't need a sit. But even if he just stops, that's fine. All right? Depend again, depending on what you want. If you wanted a sit, then then require the sit every time. If you just wanted a stop, then as soon as he's stopping with you, you just test it, right? Good boy. You're done with this, right? Okay. All right. And the key to is to okay and then move, right? So I tend to do my word and the movement at the same time because I kind of don't care. Let me try to show you that. Good. Okay. Right. I know you can't see that one because it's across the street. I'll do it again right here. And I'll try to make my leg more pronounced. All right. So you stop. And you can for long ones. You can reward if you want and then just remind them. Then it's like this. Okay. Right. So I picked my foot up so you can see. Do you want that little pause in between? Because technically you don't want them going as soon as you say okay. You want it to be with your movement. Right. So if you do your movement and your release word at the same time they'll start bolting as soon as they're released. If you do your release word and then your movement, then it becomes they rely more on the movement than the word. That makes sense? Right? Good job. Okay. Right, then, then once they're super, super good at it, let, let me see if I can do that with just the movement now. Because I don't plan on keeping this for him anyways. I probably should, though. Good job, buddy. Okay. All right. 
So this time I'm going to try to do one without even saying, I'm going to see if he goes with my movement or just a word. Oh, I should set him up, right? Yeah, let's set him up. All right, we go here. Good. We go, okay. Good job. Good job. Right? You saw how I said okay and he waited until I moved? That's ideal. You're, you're a good dog. Why are you still with me? Why can't I get you adopted? <laughs>